Marvin Red here, and uh, I am here today to do a video because um, I got my Mary Doll Round Moose in, and I wanted to show her to you guys. Um, okay, so here's how she came. Um, well, almost how she came. <laughs> this card actually, this is like the card that the um, the certificate of authenticity came in. Um, but I actually have the certificate over here. I put it in this little thing. Um, little plastic thing. It has the a picture of Moose on it. It's super cute. It's like a little sticker that's holding the thing shut. And then inside here I have... Okay, so her certificate. Where is it? Okay, here it is. I don't... I know that, like, I, people were saying that you shouldn't show the whole certificate so that, like, people can't copy it. So I'll, like... I'll like show just show the art on it very cute for moose she's really cute um she was she was born in may 2019 skin is in strawberry very cute um and then here is a postcard or not a postcard just a little picture of dango my girlfriend has dango and my best friend pluto has dango <laughs> um I don't know which one this is. This is one of the big girls, though. I don't know the sculpt name. She's really pretty. Um, okay, here's a postcard. Here's the back. And then this one is a bunny hole. Very cute. Um, and here is a paper doll that Naria made. I hope I'm saying her name right. I think I am. Um, it's super cute. It says, step one, direction is step one, cut out all the pieces, make tiny goals using the gray dots as reference i think that's supposed to say holes i think it's a g instead of an h it says goals um and then three says use tiny brads to assemble the doll unless there's a word that is goals that i don't i d have never heard before i think it might supposed to be say holes i think maybe then four carefully glue the dress avoiding gluing the shoulder and hip joint so that's super cute i used to have paper dolls when i was a little boy and I thought they were, like, the best thing ever. I got this super, super cool, um, book of, like, these really intricate paper dolls with, like, these, like, extravagant, like, Victorian-era, like, outfits and stuff. It was the best thing ever. I remember we got it at some, like, historical place that me and my dad and mom went to when I was little. And I got the book. And we went to a minor league baseball game afterwards. And I was sitting with the book in the car. And I was, like, my mom was helping me, like, cut them out and I was like sitting in the bleachers at the game and we were like cutting them out it was awesome it's just a very nice memory <laughs> um okay these are her little um art dolls that she's making little art toys that um Nuria's making these little things I don't know how to pronounce it moi moi mota so she's like really like going for those right now instead of the bjds and then I can't re I know, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but this is the one, this is the one that comes with the, the mermaid tail, right? The little pygmy that comes with the mermaid tail, I think. So that's like a little, a little card. Um, then I had the box, so super cute. <laughs> and you open it, and you'll see the little black, and then you open it again, and her body goes here. And then her eyes were in here, in this one. And then her little fisty hands are in here. I'll take them out. Here are her little fisty hands. Super cute. I might put them on her because I'm going to dress her up a lot in this video. So I'm probably going to put the fisty hands on because I don't want to get her fingers all caught in the clothing. Um, so here she is. Um, I dressed her up and I brought her to work with me today. <laughs> and I like um, it was a half day because it's Halloween and I only had my morning class today I didn't have my afternoon class but we had to go to a meeting Ugh, so we didn't get to leave early um, but I like held her through my whole meeting and she helped me get through the ridiculousness of having to go to a meeting <laughs> so here she is um, what she's wearing this is I will tell you piece by piece as I'm taking it off this is um a Barbie cardigan I got in a Barbie fashion pack recently 
And then these socks are Blythe socks and she's actually split them a little bit in the back. But I'm just gonna sew them up and pretend it didn't happen because her thighs are chonky. Um, these are not like official Blythe socks. I got these on AliExpress and they were advertised as Blythe size socks. So, and I probably stretched them out. I stretched them out. They'll be too big on my Blythe and I'll probably. Um, and then this, these um, overalls were also on either AliExpress or Wish. They were advertised as Blythe size. Um, and then this little top, um, this is a Blythe top. I think if you watched my box opening video of my Fruit Punch Blythe, this came in the box with her. Um, but she was secondhand, so this m this may or may not have been her stock, but it does fit her body very well. And um, it fits on the moose on the mallow body. Um, it's just a little bit loose. So I got moose from the stock sale that happened on the 19th. Um, and I got, um, she comes on the mallow body. So that's, there's like the fee body, the original body and the mallow body. And so I got her, moose came on the mallow body. So here she is. And I got moose. And I already have her little eyes in, but it's probably gonna be really hard to see. They're so tiny. Um, so I got her in yesterday, so I've had a little bit of time to play with her. Um, so my thoughts on her, um, <laughs> her head posing is really good. I guess I can do that. Um, side to side. It's pretty good. And then whoops, down and up. It's pretty good. Um, the head cap always wants to sit, come off. The magnet is not very strong. Um, eh, I don't know. That doesn't bother me too much. Um, the sculpting on her body, little, little body is precious. Um, the torso joint, I really like the torso joint. Um, if I can put her, whoops, put her little arms up. That's slouching. And that's leaning back. So like. And then side to side. Oops. Um, what I really like about this torso joint, I know my my girlfriend has the dango on the original body, and her torso joint is like on like a little like you have to like kind of pull it up and set it on the ledge to get her to lean forward. And it has like a little thing right there. And with this one, it's just kind of like moves around like on its own, but like it's not like it, it swings around everywhere. It stays pretty well where you put it. So I like that. I really like that about this body and also just the cute chubbiness of it. Look at that little belly. Oh my goodness, and those thighs, they're so chubby. Um, okay, so the um, the arm posability, I think the arm posability is good. It does have a little bit of snapback if you don't put it all the way out, but if you put it all the way out, it's good. It doesn't have any like little ledges. I think it's just sculpted, sculpted well that it stays out like that. Um, sometimes you can like get it to, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then, so for the elbow, I will say that these elbow peanuts get like twisted around like all over the place. It's like crazy. Um, my friend Pluto, she said that her dangos do that as well. So I think that's just like a pygmy thing, not just the mallow body. Um, I'll show you like the movement in the elbows are pretty good. Um, I would say that she has probably, I have this old soul doll girl body. Um, uh, that's her posing in the elbows is like on par with the old soul doll girl body. And then my doll family, a, um, MSD boy body. It's probably the same with how good the posing is on either of those bodies. If you have either of those, you probably don't. They're not very, not many, many people have them. But, um, so the arm posability is really awesome. I love it. Um, like it's just, she kind of just does whatever you tell her to. It's awesome. Except, you know, the, the joints get swiveled around inside and it's kind of hard to tell what you're doing if she has long sleeves on. 
Um, she has no um, uh, mobility joint here, but she sits like this. And she does lean back a little bit, but you can slouch, slouch her forward and she sits up perfectly nice. Um, her knees. Okay, <laughs> her knees. I can deal with them. Um, okay. So they have nice mobility here until you get to here. And she is not single jointed. You need to pull the joint out and... Like, go, go like this with it. So she can do this. Um, I think I was probably being a little bit dramatic when I was doing that. It is a little bit difficult to get it sitting up there. Hot glue suede might help. But they kind of like pop back in. So she's pretty much, if you have her in long pants like the socks I had, you can't get her to go into her jumble joint mode. I, I don't personally like having to pull the joints out. Um, but I mean, it's, it's fine. It's not like a super big deal. Um, this is her toe point down and she has all the things in between and up overall she's super cute and i really really like her um i'm very happy with her um and now i wanted to try some clothes on for you guys so i'm gonna try just some like modern barbie clothes on her and see see how i like it so i wanted to tell you guys like okay I went to a like a transgender like conference thing on the Saturday that uh, they were holding a stock sale and I didn't know how my internet was gonna be because I would be on the road to the conference in Richmond like when the stock sale was happening so I didn't know if I was even gonna have internet so my boyfriend Blue uh, lovely lovingly told me that he would help me get her um, through the stock sale, he would, I gave him like my PayPal information and stuff and like my login to the website. And he told me that he would, you know, wait up and he's on a different time zone. So it was 10 a.m. for me and it was 7 a.m. for him. And he stayed up all night so that he like would make sure that he didn't like fall asleep and like not wake up when it was time. Very sweet of him. And there goes her head cap. Um, <laughs> So, like, and the page, okay, hold on. I'm going to pause and show you what she looks like in, so this is modern Barbie clothes. Um, it looks, I think it looks, the shirt looks better on her without the skirt. The skirt fits pretty well, but I think it poofs it out a little bit. But here she is with the shirt on. I'm going to try on some more modern Barbie clothes, so keep going, I'm going to keep going with my story. Um, the site when we when we because i was texting him and he had it up on his laptop and we, we were we were like it was time for the stock sale like the countdown had ended and we went on and like we were getting like a uh lou what was the error called lou i don't think he can hear me i have him on phone call right now i think he probably can't hear me um but we were getting like some weird error message on um, on the website, and like we were like, oh my god, did we like are like did, did they they all sell out? Like what what is happening? Like what? <laughs> we were we were like we, we were so confused. Um, we didn't know what was happening, and I was like so worried that we weren't gonna get her. I was like, oh my god, we're not gonna get her because something's wrong with your like our laptop and like. <laughs> You can probably hear kids yelling outside they're trick-or-treating um <clears throat> they're trying to trick-or-treat before the big storm rolls in we're supposed to get really bad storms all night so the kids are out early um but yeah but then um i think within 15 minutes the error was fine and lou was like super quick he like got on he was like do 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 bot and then right after that like almost everything sold out like instantly it was crazy so like that was awesome i love you lou <laughs> thank you <laughs> um it was super it was just super awesome um 
he's coming. I can hear some kid in there raving about his dinosaur costume. That's really cute. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, but thank you, Lou, when you watch this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I got distracted talking and I didn't dress her. So, guys, I'm, I'm pretty much the worst. But, um, yeah, when he comes and visits for my birthday in December, um, it's going to be fun. Uh, I want to... I'm just excited <laughs> that he'll get to see her because he put so much effort into helping me get her. Here's her in a, like one of the Hello Kitty Barbie tops. Super cute. It's really loose, but I think the style still looks cute. Um, and then I wanted to put her in one of the dresses to see how that looked on her. Um, I hope this isn't boring. I think I don't because when I had ordered her, I wasn't really sure what kind of clothes to get for her. Um, so this might be helpful to somebody out there. <laughs> so here's the Barbie dress. It, go down, it goes down just about her knees. And it fits pretty well. It's a tiny bit loose. I guess you could like cinch it to make it like this. But it looks super cute on her like this. So that's an option. Um, then I have, I have Blythe underwear. And again, this came with my Fruit Punch Blythe, so I don't know if this is stock Blythe or not. But it does fit the Blythe body. So let me put this on. It's elastic, obviously, because it's underwear. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I haven't tried a lot of these clothes on her. Oh, what's happening? Oh my goodness, you guys, look. That is so cute. Look at her bum. Oh my gosh. Lou, I wish you could see this right now. So cute. I'll have to take pictures for him after this video. And then I know these ones are stock Blythe underwear, so I'll put these ones on her to show. Oh. These ones, I am having a bit of a tough time getting up her thighs. Uh, <laughs> okay, but they fit. They went up her thighs. It's okay. <laughs> so here is the undies. And I'm almost done, guys, so no, don't don't worry. <laughs> I'm almost done, I promise. So the, the stock Blythe underwear was a little bit hard to get up over her thighs, but it worked. It was fine. Okay, so here are a pair of um, bloomers. They were advertised, I got them on AliExpress. They were advertised as A zone size. It didn't say what size A zone, it just said A zone. So, and they fit her perfectly. Um, you can like scrunch them up or like only scrunch them up like a little bit. Super cute. Um, Okay, so here are um, pants that are not stretchy that were advertised for Blythe um, on AliExpress. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, so as you can see, the Velcro doesn't, I don't know if you can like really see that, but the Velcro doesn't really close in the back. I can get it just a little bit, and I'm sure if she sits down, oh, no. It doesn't break open or anything when she sits down, but it wasn't really closed to begin with. Um, here's what she looks like in them. Sorry, they're black, so it's kind of hard to see. That's actually really super cute. I didn't think they were going to fit. Wow, okay. And here's Barbie um, shorts. These are the one-size-fits-all shorts from the fashion packs. Um, as you can see, very big on her. Um, but... They could be cute if you cinched them. So. I have a live doll dress. Because I had live dolls. They were cool. They had double jointed knees. It was awesome. 
Do you guys ever read the freaking Live Doll blo the blogs? That little website that the Live Dolls had where they like wrote like in their diaries or whatever. I read those. <laughs> I read those. I remember sitting at my dad's school in his office and I was reading them on my on my laptop. Um, so this is what it looks like on her. It's fitted in the waist, but this is like all up in here. So like if you it, it doesn't it doesn't really work but the length is cute the skirt is cute on her <laughs> um this is ever after high um i'm i'm that's as far as up as it gets team <laughs> which isn't a surprise i know that's not a surprise but um i just wanted to show just for so you guys could see um Here's a vintage Barbie cape. It's very cute on her. The shoulders are a little big. But, yeah, that's cute. It's got, like, that in it, too. So, you know, it's, you know, the real deal. So, I think this is a skipper dress. A Barbie skipper dress. So, I'm going to put this on her and see. Okay, again, uh, does not go up past the thighs. She's a thick girl, you know? Um, I only have three more pieces to show you after this one, so <laughs> don't, don't worry, it won't be too much longer. This is a stock Blythe shirt, so I thought uh, I would try that on her. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope this is useful to somebody. <laughs> Again, she's the Mary Doll Round um, Pygmy doll. She's the Mallow Body. Okay, what is happening? Okay, there we go. Oh goodness, she looks really cute in this, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna, well, I guess I can. I can just tie the little knot in the back. So here's what she looks like. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks kind of weird on camera, but it's really cute in person. Well, it fits. It fits. Blythe stock tops fit. Well, at least mine does. <laughs> it's not a stretchy material, so. Okay, and then I have this outfit. This is quite possibly my friend told me that it might be my scene it fits my fashionista barbies like the the old fashionista barbies the ones with the the could move 90 degrees like this and then the they had it in the 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 um knees too the old fashionista barbies that those of us like in our in our 20s played with when we were little so it fits that. I don't know if it's actually Barbie or not, but here it is. It fits her. I just, it's super cute. I used to love putting this on my girls when I was little. It doesn't Velcro all the way in the back, but it's pretty close. It stays on. So that's good. Okay, two more pieces left, team. Um, so this is, these are Monster High pants, and just humor me here, okay? Just humor me, just for a second. I just want to see how high up there are her thighs that they can go. So, we're up to here. This is how high Monster High Pants can go on her. So, I don't know. I knew that wasn't going to work. I don't know why I, I wanted to. I don't know. <laughs> and this is a Moxie Girl outfit. This is the last one I have to try on her. Oh, wait. Actually, that's a lie. I hate taking up so much of your time. Um, eh. Cause two of the outfits that I ordered for her came in from AliExpress and I wanted to open them in this video too. So if you guys are up for it, stay along for the ride. If not, you can just, you know, stop watching if you are uninterested. 
obviously you can always do that. <laughs> so, guys, I know that we were all very worried that our, um... Maradona and Pygmies may or may not fit in Moxie Girl clothes, but I, everyone, calm down. It's all right. They do fit in Mox. <laughs> they do fit in Moxie Girl clothes. I am ninety nine percent sure that this is a Moxie Girl outfit. Their Moxie Teen, whatever the heck it was, she fits in it, and it looks very cute on her. The Velcro almost all the way Velcros in the back, so that's awesome. Uh. I'm trying to take it off of her. <laughs> okay, so I have two packages. Um, okay, I'll open this one. Okay, these scissors are terrible. That's fine. I have the very cute. I'm not gonna bother putting a shirt on under it because I just I don't I don't care <laughs> so all the things that I have here were advertised as black size so Let's see how it looks. It's really super cute, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a success. Okay. Excited about that. Okay, let's try this other one. What? Guys, I am beyond confused right now. I know that it's always hit on ugh, hit or miss on AliExpress and I didn't spend that much on this, so it's okay, but wow, what the hell? So I I bought something blithe sized. Um this is clearly <laughs> not blithe sized this is like large msd small sd size so i guess i got a christmas outfit for my big girls so here's this i guess i'm doing an unboxing for this this is really cute though i can't be mad about it it was like 11 dollars for this whole set so i mean that's fine this sweater this would be cute on lou that would be this i think this is like blue sized um a christmas hat a scarf friggin bloomers and then socks I don't know um I ordered them in blood size so I <laughs> that's what you get when you order from Aliexpress okay yeah there's a lesson for you guys <laughs> okay um this video is almost 30 minutes, so that's been long enough. Um, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.